Hello. 911, this is Allie. How can I help you? Allie, this... Well, Allie, I'm the Attorney General, and I am... I don't know. I hit something. You I'm hit something. By Highmore. Highmore and is in the middle of the road. South Dakota law enforcement released more information on a fatal crash they say involved State Attorney General Jason Roundsborg. Good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Stella Daskalakis. Matt is on assignment. Roundsborg reportedly did not strike a deer. Investigators indicate Roundsborg struck and killed 55-year-old Joseph Beaver. Authorities say Beaver was walking on a rural highway on September 12th near Highmore when investigators say he was struck and killed by the Attorney General. Roundsborg says he didn't realize it was a person who was struck. He says he returned to the crash site the next day. This morning, investigators released audio of the original 911 call. Here's a portion of it. It sure hit and mashed my windshield. Oh, no. Okay, do you think it was a deer or something? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I mean, it was right in the roadway. And Investigators from Minnesota and North Dakota have been brought in to handle the investigation. KTIV's Claire Bradshaw has more on what information is being released to the public. Claire. Stella, investigators provided information today on if Roundsborg was under the influence at the time of the crash. Public Safety Secretary Craig Price says Roundsborg's blood alcohol content was zero when he provided a blood sample the day after the crash. According to the Addiction Center, the body processes about one standard drink per hour. Officials say they brought in investigators from North Dakota and a forensic specialist from Wyoming to reconstruct the crash for the investigation. What we are doing is we are gathering a set of facts. We want to be able to determine what happened that evening. We want to be able to determine what happened leading up to that evening. And we want to be able to determine what happened after that evening took place. According to the toxicology report, no drugs were detected either. Governor Christy Noem says her office does not oversee the attorney general and he's not been placed on administrative leave. Stella. Thank you, Claire. Roundsborg asserts he did not drink the night of the fundraiser and claims to have multiple witnesses who back him up. The accident happened around 1030 Saturday night. No breathalyzer was given to Roundsborg the night of the accident. A toxicology test would not be conducted until the next day, around 1.30 Sunday afternoon. Those tests came back negative. 